Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to use your Raspberry Pi camera module 3 with Octoprint. Um, so first you're going to go to this website. I'll link it in the description. Uh, it's Octopi100 with Octoprint 187. Uh, your first step is going to be to go to the site, download the zip, just double click it, and it'll download to your downloads. Uh, you're going to click this zip file, you're going to double click it on Mac, it'll unzip it and turn into an image. Uh, right click extract for Windows and you'll get this image. Next you're going to go to Raspberry Pi Imager, click operating system, you're going to scroll to the bottom, use custom, and you're going to select that image that you downloaded, press open, and you're also going to click your storage, which is your SD card. Uh, right here, I wanted to import my Wi-Fi settings. So I'm going to go ahead and enter these credentials. And that way it can autofill for me. So now you can see it autofilled that. Now I'm going to change this to US. Uh, you want to enable SSH right here. Use password authentication. Uh, set your username and password to whatever you like. Configure a wireless LAN. You can check that box. Enter your network information. I take the sound off. Press save. And then we're going to write. And this is going to delete everything on your SD card. So make sure that you have everything backed up or make sure there's nothing on there that you want. Press yes. And it's going to start this. Um, this process is pretty quick. Uh, let me go ahead and press OK. Let's do a little bit of time travel to the end. And now uh, it's verifying. And once the verification is done, uh, it should eject the SD card for you if you selected that. And then you're going to click continue. Now since I ejected the SD card, I'm going to take it out of my adapter and get my Raspberry Pi and put it in the bottom slot. I'm going to go ahead and wipe this off first because I don't like my fingerprints on it to make sure it's going to work properly. Make sure you put it in upside down properly. And now going to go ahead and plug it in and it should be good to go and right when you plug it in you'll see a red light come up you can see it right there and you'll also see a green light there it is and that green light is going to stay on for a few minutes this is what's happening is it is installing octoprint onto your raspberry pi so you can use it so go ahead and sit it down uh wait it out for a few minutes and then once that's done, you can go to this website, uh, octopi.local. This is just a local website since your server is connected on your network. Uh, press next. I'm not going to restore from a backup. Press next. Create a username. I'm going to go ahead and just let it autofill my old username from my last install that uh, last time I had this running. Confirm the password. Create account and it should give you a queue. I'm going to go ahead and click next. I'm going to configure this. And basically, what this is, it you're telling it what DNS to use. And basically, you're going to, uh, right here, like it says, to utilize Google's DNS server, and that's always 8.8.8. .8 .8. And basically what that does is it takes the a website like google.com, it sends it to their DNS server, which is 8.8.8, .8 .8, um, and then it resolves it in the DNS, and then it sends you back the web page YouTube because URLs are just for human eyes, and IP addresses are for computers. So that's kind of just, uh, you know, layman's terms. Enable connectivity check. You don't have to do this, but I do this. Just prefer to do that. 
and we're going to go ahead and press next. Uh, I enable anonymous user usage tracking. I uh, don't see why not. Go ahead and give these guys data and improve the product. I do enable plugin blacklist, pro blacklist processing. There's only about five or six of these uh, blacklisted plugins. Now, my printer is named Aurora, so I'm going to go ahead and name her. And then the model, Ender 3 Pro. I actually don't know what it is now. I have so many upgrades and modifications. Uh, I'm going to change the print bed size. You're going to have to do, uh, this is going to be different for you, so don't copy my numbers. Uh, now, we're going to go ahead and press finish. And then you'll see the website here. Now, let's see if it worked. As you can see, it is a Raspberry Pi camera module 3. Let's go ahead and click, click control. And there it goes. Now it's working. Uh, I'm going to move it around a little bit. Check the focusing. Looks really nice. And yeah, that's it. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope it was helpful, informative, and concise. Uh, I assumed if you were trying to install your Raspberry Pi camera module 3 that you already know how to install OptiPrint. So I didn't try to give too many details on that. But if there's anything that I left out or any kind of information you'd like to know, go ahead and drop a comment and I'll see if I can help. But until next time, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next video.